Hey guys, it's Mike from 424recording.com. Today I wanted to give a quick rundown of my DM1 drum machine app. You know, the DM1 drum machine is an amazing app. It has so many different samples on it, so many different drum sounds, so many different vintage kits. It's amazing. I have to say, make sure you get the iOS one because the one for Mac is horrible. It crashes all the time. Um, it's like impossible to use, right? I, I don't know. It just, it doesn't work that great. So, but get the one for the phone, I think is the one that they tend to do a lot of the updates for and is up to date as of now. So it's a great app and I would highly recommend getting it if you want to use a great drum machine with your four track cassette recorder or just with your recording projects in general. I toyed around with the idea of getting vintage Lin 9000 and a DRM 15 and you know, the drum machine app costs 99 cents, and I think I may have even gotten it for free, but for, to play devil's advocate, we'll say it is 99 cents. And a DRM-15 is could be anywhere from 500 to $1,000. And you gotta ask yourself, yeah, it's the actual sounds, right? It's the analog sounds, but you know, the samples are pretty good. And you gotta say, is a DRM-15 500 times better, 1,000 times better than uh, the sounds coming out of the, the iPhone app, you know, it's like love diminishing returns. If you can pay a dollar to get the samples, which, I mean, maybe the, the, the pedal to me is like 10 times better or 12 times better, but this, you know, uh, it's a huge difference in, in money. And it's also an investment, 500 bucks. That's a lot of money, thousand bucks. That's a lot of money, especially for music gear. You can get a lot of stuff with that. I guess it depends how into you are vintage drum machines. But same thing with the Lin 9000, you know, I think they go for like 2K right now. And you gotta ask yourself, is the is having an actual one 2,000 times better than having a dollar phone app with great sounding samples on it? I'll leave that question up to you to decide. So here's what I got going on with my DM1. So this is the DM1. I'm just gonna show you my beat really quickly. It's based on the license to ill beat. So I figured, well, that's the song I'm going to be mixing to. I might as well just jack the beat. Making that cheddar, making that cheddar. I like Riere, but I'm making that cheddar. Hustling, hustling, making that cheddar. I like Riere, but I'm making that cheddar. See, and what's cool about this app is it has a pads you can play, which is dope. It has... Um, a mixer section. So basically I'm going to be sub mixing my tracks with this. I always keep the hi-hat down because that's always really wicked loud. I have a clap over my snare to give it a little bit of um, definition and bump or snap rather. Um, so I'm going to be basically sub mixing my drum sounds here so that I don't need to use extra tracks. So that's pretty dope about this app. And you can solo stuff. So right here, this is just a kick going. You add the snare. And then this part's basically like effects you can add, which I don't really use that often, but at some point I'll do like a tutorial on how to use this thing. But I actually use the compressor because, um, and, I, and this is how you add it, but you can kind of move this dot around on this graph. It's kind of hard to see, but I'll do a more in depth part about that later. Um, and then this is your song. Mine is obviously Cheddar. But what's cool is if you want to make it into a song, you can add different patterns to the bar section here like this, and it will move along to the different parts of the song. So you can map out like, oh, well, you know, so now this is at the end. Now it's going to go back to the beginning. But if I wanted to put like two in here, if it had, um, if it had anything on it, which it doesn't right now, so it's just blank. But if I wanted to change this part of the song, watch, it'll, it'll now go silent once it hits the two. You know, you can put another part of the song or make the beat drop out, comes back in, kind of just loops. So it's pretty dope. I mean, you can, you, I'm gonna use this to compose my song once I have a greater understanding of what my song is gonna be composed like. And then, this is just the export settings, and also you can set the tempo, which is cool. You can set the swing, which is very important. Um, yeah, which is very important because, um, you know, you beat, 
with hip hop, you don't want it to sound too static. You know, it needs to have a little bit of a flow to it. Um, and that's how you export it, etc. But I'm definitely gonna go through this at some point and show a um, demo of this. It's a pretty dope thing. Um, and then up here, actually, I'm using this DRM 15 kit, but you can actually use, they have all sorts of like vintage kits, 808, 606, 909, CR 78 is awesome. Univox is cool, MXR, Lin 9000 is my favorite. That's what I use live for my Be Cool Cowboy stuff. Um, and I've been using that live and for practice for years. Um, and I mean, it just has tons of kits, tons of sounds. And I mean, this thing was like a dollar. I think I actually got it for free. It had like a free sale. Oh yeah, and this is like the pads again, but you can like... You know, you get the idea record extra parts that'll go into the patterns. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be using. So I'm basically gonna be using this as a sub mixer. That's my beat, hopefully you can hear it. It's a little low, but. See, this is the part where there's nothing. We can add something in there later. But that's like the bottom license to ill beat, kind of. And I'm just gonna use that because it's a sick beat. All right, well, that's my little tutorial for the DM1. I will do a longer tutorial if you guys want, and also probably just will because this is one of my favorite instruments to use with my four track, and especially for recording. I mean, I've used this on so many songs that I do. It's kind of part of my sound, and uh, if you've listened to that song a little wiser on the website, that's actually this. Check it out, it's a dope, dope ass app. Like I said, this is one of my favorite apps to use with my um, 424. I've been using it for years. I've been using it for my live show. I actually used it at the Reckless Eric show, which went amazing, by the way. I'll have to update a little bit more about that in the next video. But it's a great app, you know. Uh, I don't know if it's available for other phones, but check it out if you need a awesome drum machine app. Um, and if you have any other suggestions for other apps, let us know in the comments below. I'll also link a version of License to Ill so you can hear what that song sounds like and how I've taken parts of it or taken the drum beat beat for my song. As always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, you nerd. Godspeed, my friend. We'll catch you on the next video, which may or may not be about something you've been looking forward to.